Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD Carrier Green 3.5 inches set hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. For this particular case, the PCB number is 2060-771698-002. The hard drive model number is WD. 20EARX. This video is going to cover PCB swap, PCB firmware transfer, PCB repair, bad sect recovery, fixed service error corruption, disk data recovery, quick data recovery chips, micro soldering. Part 1 Printed Circuit Board Repair. Two common methods to repair a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. PCB swap. 2. PCB repair. The hard drive printed circuit board repair. Method 1. PCB swap. Steps of PCB swap. Step 1. Find the correct donor PCB. Step 2. PCB firmware transfer. Note, most of the hard drives need PCB firmware transfer, but some old hard drives do not need PCB firmware transfer. 2. PCB firmware transfer is different from hard drive firmware upgrading. Locate and find out the hard drive model number. Find out the printed circuit board number of the hard drive. The picture 1 shows the printed circuit board number location of this model hard drive. Different printed circuit boards. The printed circuit board number locations are different. Picture 2 shows some printed circuit board number locations of the different PCBs. If you want to find out your own PCB number, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com, which lists most of the PCB information in detail. We use hard drive model number, PCB board number, and PCB board stick number and CPU number as well as reference to search for the donor PCB board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 
three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. One, the printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. Two, hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. Three, we can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board from a transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board from a transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients send in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. The hard drive printed circuit board repair method two, PCB repair. This picture shows some regular components on the printed circuit board. This is the hard drive printed circuit board schematic diagram. You can take this schematic diagram as a reference to fix your own PCB. How to fix a hard drive model IC problem? 1. 
the bad motor IC problem symptom, the hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery Bad Sectors Recovery Some models of WD hard drives have a special feature called TLER Time Limited Error Recovery, which can reduce the time of reading the bad sectors safely. Bad sectors are the common cause to make the data not readable. Reading the bad sectors is not only time-consuming, but also dangerous to make new damage to the hard drives. Some models of WD hard drives have this feature, TLER, which can read the bad sectors fast and safe. The TLER feature can be activated in the firmware of the hard drive. Default Error Processing Reading attempt of the XLBA with a default timeout. In case of timeout limits access, rereading the same LBA a dozen times during a few seconds. Software hardware reset. Recalibration of the heads. Another reading attempt of the X plus 1 LBA. In the background, writing error logs inside the service area, as picture 1 shows. TLER error processing. Reduce the time for error processing and set your own internal hard drive timeout. Disable O non-critical service area modules. Switch off all background processes. Make fast and effective bad sectors reading and processing, as picture 2 shows. Disk firmware corruption. Symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason Disk firmware corruption Recommendation Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. Disk assembly physical damage problem symptom the hard drive makes clicking, buzz, or other weird sound. The hard drive is not accessible by any computer. Possible reason? Disk assembly physically damaged. Recommendation. Try class 100 clean room disk assembly repairing. Do not open the hard drive in any open area like home or office. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk assembly physical damage. <laughs>
There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. How do we cool down the heat contributor IC from the outside? Step 1. Heat transfer pad preparation. Peel off the protection sheet from both sides of the heat transfer pad like the picture 1 shows. Step 2. Prepare a heat sink, like the picture 2 shows. Step 3. Put the heat transfer pad onto the heat sink, like the picture 3 shows. Step 4. Put the heat sink to the heat contributor IC area on the PCB, like the picture 4 shows. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board. This is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time it's the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. Power adapter damage this picture shows the two common damage points on the power adapter. The solution to fix this kind of problem is replace the power adapter or fix it. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. Electronic Repair Micro Soldering Specialist Data Pro provides micro soldering services for all electronic devices like USB HDMI port replacement, SMD rework, and general soldering. Please send us pictures for free estimate. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the hard drive circuit board schematic diagram for repairing purpose. Fusion Drive What is Fusion Drive? Fusion Drive is Apple Inc.'s name for its implementation of a hybrid drive. One Fusion Drive equals one SSD drive plus one regular hard drive. Usage Frequently used data is stored in the SSD drive. Less frequently used data is stored 
in the regular hard drive. Data recovery requirement. In order to do data recovery, both the SSD drive and the regular hard drive are needed. Do I have a Fusion drive? This table listed all the Macintosh computers which used the Fusion drives. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.